All right, friends. When I left you in the last video, we had set up, we had done keyword research and set up a niche site domination plan for my sports devotional site. This is video number two. Quick review of where we were. I used Longtail Pro to do keyword research on topics related to sport devotions. I isolated some here, which I downloaded into this Excel spreadsheet. The highlighted keywords are actual posts that I plan to make based on competitiveness and number of searches. On this particular one, you can see 390 searches for athletic devotions. Average competitiveness of 26. So, which is which is low. I'm looking for competitiveness in the 20s and very low 30s right now because my site is young and fairly weak backlink wise with the domain authority of nine of course i plan to improve that but that's where i am at the moment so i took these terms and i dropped them into my organizational spreadsheet under keyword list so these are the posts that i'm planning to make essentially in order a few of them have a secondary keyword basketball devotions about teamwork or five minute devotions for youth that I plan to work in athletic devotions about teamwork. So into the post itself. So I went into my WordPress website. I went to posts. Here I am and I started a few. So I opened a post sports devotions. This post is basketball devotions. Let me go ahead and start a few more. Add new, add new, add new goals to produce these posts in a relatively short amount of time <clears throat> so that my site can begin to rank for these important keywords. Who knew people are searching for devotions by specific sports? So let's see. Again, I have what I've started so far. I've sports devotions and have basketball devotions started so far. So this is going to be baseball. Devotions. Can get a couple of the subheaders down here. How to share a baseball devotion. Save this draft. Go back here. Um, I'm going to make a little note to myself if I've started this basketball, baseball. So I'm going to do football. I'm, then I'm going to do this athletic. Five minute football, athletic, and five minute for now. Football, devotional, devotion. Have another subtitle how to share. Maybe I'll say when to share. Or even the art of sharing a football devotion. Touchdowns. So Got three subheadings there. This is going to be athletic devotions. <laughs> and 
this is one of those secondary keywords. Athletic devotion is about teamwork. Devotions for sports. Ministry. So three subtitles here. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then this is five minute devotions. Kids. Five minute devotions for kids. Use the word children, how to how to keep children's interest with a five minute devotional. All three of these, so make H2. I'm going to take a note to myself. Speak fast. So, draft has been saved there. Here I am. So, this is one I started in the last video sports devotions. Basketball devotions. I'm going to get some text down. I'm not going to be able to finish it here, but I'm going to get some text down. The, the bottom line of writing is get text out. It's easy to edit, easier to edit than it is to initially spit out the text. So. I'm not going to stop. Writing a little bit. I personally enjoy sharing devotionals before the game starts because. In my experience, the players seemed the most focused. <clears throat> the energy of the impending competition and <laughs> general respect <laughs> for authority pregame. <laughs> Before any uh, any conflicts 
develop. Made this the most beneficial window to share a ministry moment in my estimation. I'm going to go ahead and um, italicize that pregame. Another key time to share a basketball. She's the key word. Devotion. It's halftime. <laughs> 50 <laughs> Percent of the action has transpired. The players are likely winded, but still <coughs> engaged in the game and likely to be generally respect to officials and um, ministry personnel as the game is still unfolding as a downside the players may have a beef or be <clears throat> overcome with focus on strategy to hear a to effectively hear a word um, from so, fix these. I'm using the Grammarly plugin, which is really nice. Let me go ahead and bold that basketball devotion. I need a couple more to share basketball devotions. My best. Basketball devotion as men recommended basketball devotions. That's where I'm going to link to my own devotions on the subject. And then do an outside link too. Oh, it's good to have an outside link. I do need an image here, but I'm not ready for it yet. So, let's see, I've taken some a stab at laying out this. Oh, I. So, <clears throat> taking a good stab here. This is my intro text about basketball potions. Leaving it there as a placeholder for me. Yeah, I flipped over to sports devotions post, the power of sports devotion, intro text, why share, find sports devotional resources, link to sports spectrum. So, I look at my categories over here. Yeah. Some demo categories are still there. I'm going to a new category. That's cool. Back here in Power, I'm going to do a little intro text. Phenomenal tools for 
outreach ministry in particular for young men who are often difficult to engage for the gospel our cultural affinity for team-based athletic competition provides an excellent opportunity to meet them where they are with a sports division. Hold that keyword. Go ahead and define this a little bit. Is a compact message. Primarily delivered in an athletic setting to participants who are both churched and unchurched. I'd house us. The religious entity or church provides the facility and administration of popular team sports as an outreach to the community as an outreach service in the exchange is this provides often low cost and high quality sports leagues for adults and children in a pleasant I call it a regulated environment. In exchange for the opportunity to share a message of Christ with all those who participate. In our sports ministry, sports, <laughs> I'm going to load it a little bit, but sports devotions uh, for sports in our sports ministry. Presented it's 
So I'm going to go ahead and pause. I mean, you can see I'm crafting this out by Share Sports Originals. So I'll come back in and add some images here. I actually have some pictures from my own days in church. Oh, look, the tags have been auto loaded here. Not the most relevant, but but when it'll um, it'll detect my own, my text as I get going. So this is how to lay out devotions. Eventually, I'll add images, video above here. Uh, I actually have the devotions, so I've got some stuff to work with. And the goal is to really beef, beef these posts up. Let's check on the basketball post, which I hacked away at. See how many words, word count 192. So my goal is to get to 500. So let's see where the victory comes to those who write. I'm willing to put forth a little effort. I got about 200 words on my sports devotion pumping out this paragraph here. So you need to do that again once or twice. And I'll get there. So anyway, thanks so much for watching video two. We are going to take this niche site all the way. And I hope this is informative for you and inspirational as you get ideas on how to build content. Thanks so much. Bye.